Our team is Cloud9. Our team strengths are uh, we play very smart and tactical, and we can't wait to play against all the other best teams in the world, and we know we're going to do well. A bit of damage, and he's trying to be the scout for his team, trying to find a way to get in on the western part of the circle, but he is going to find one unknowns, or rather unexpected teams having a pretty good shot here in the first match, as, as well as some of the teams we did expect to, to show up coming on in here. So good start for those teams as we're almost ready to jump onto Vikendi again. Going to go down, and this is getting really, really dicey on the southeast corner. So many teams down here, and the blue is just going to chunk them through. I'm a big fan of our Q's position right uh, from EGC, I believe, our Korean team. Just looking at the minimap here, so they want to shell down onto VIP, but they can't quite stand up and have free reign to do it just yet. So a little bit of an awkward position, still going to be decent for them as they can kind of just hang out there for now. Yeah, C9 and Box are in a firefight. Meanwhile, on the southwestern part of things, there Ooh. you can see it right there. C9 taking a bunch of damage. Box is putting the hurt onto them. Evos as well getting into this from long range. So right now, C9 caught very much so. Two of their members already knocked Lewis here. Funnel things in nicely for Bear with that AUG. He's going to get the first knock. And now there are two more members in the blue for Evos. They are going down very quickly. This may well be the end for Evos. Look at the pot shots coming out here from Zute. Not a care in the world, just sitting out in the open on Miramar, just left of that entire team. So uh, not the best round for them. And based on their placements from yesterday, 11th place, not the best start. As uh, C9, the action never seems to end for this team. Yeah, they're finding it. They're finding it today. The fights are coming to them, and they're doing a pretty good job getting the first knock on Agonzo, the hero for Ghost Gilla yesterday on Erangel. Here come the other members of C9. Love this. Get aggressive. Great flank here by Zute. He is going to get Nicola down. Here comes the return fire, though. That is going to be one knock here, as there is only one member of Ghost Skilla left. And that's going to be it. The first team to go down here is not a, a little bit of potential. They had 21 kills. Um, across those first four games. And other than RRQ Athena, of all the teams that qualified out of the international teams, they were second in kills. So that's pretty encouraging for them because, again, we talked about this earlier, a point per kill is pretty nice. Yeah, it's massive. That's what I love about this kind of format is how you can make that happen with just the kills. As C9, they've got six and locked down. Going to jump in, take out one, but Pira is going to get knocked. But they get the two knocks anyway here. Who's left from the side of 6N is the real question, as it seems like C9 have this locked down. He's so good. He is incredible right now. I mean, he's probably going to end up the day with double-digit kills pretty easily. And, okay, now Elementrix is in trouble. Orange is very, very hurt. Zute might come around there, finish that one off. I'm believing that 46 is almost completely down. They fell into EGC on the background. Zute doing a great job here, spraying down Junior, confirming that. Yozu trying to return fire, make them crazy circle. And uh, there's teams like theirs, and then there are solo players like Zute who are still alive. Another nice shot from Old Boy. They have 14 kills total to Team Unique as Mystic trying to take the shot here. He's super low. And he's actually going to survive for now. Wowzers. But I think Unique is going to be able to pick him up. He is going to bandage. He's only got a couple more left at this point. He's just looking to see if he can maybe put some hurt into Unique, get something oh, out of it. Zute <laughs> is going to find. All right, Mystic runs out. He does get taken out, but it's going to be guns from forever away with. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I thought that was going to be number 15 for Unique for sure. They're down to three members. Zute doing a phenomenal job. These solo heroes for C9 showing up today and wow. giving them some kind of life in this. But Unique, Unique has got three. No shots going to really land for Zute through that corner. Trying to make a tough angle through that window. Isn't able to connect. And now Unique looking pretty, pretty good. And there is only these two left now, just Zute versus the world. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's not looking good for him, but let's see if he can pull off the miracle as he's all alone in the building. Unique looking to just charge on in. Let's see if they can make it happen. Rogue going to scout it out a little bit first, see what he can see. Zute here on the second floor going to pop out. And he is going to get the knock actually here, looking for the extra kill, and he will be able to get another point for C9. 
Looking for one more. I think that's a bit of a mistake by Unique there. I don't know if they really needed to get that aggressive on it. But this is the final rankings for the PMSC World Cup 2019. ROQ Athena did hold on to maintain that second place. Queso did hold on to third, but Cloud9 has stuck their way through to fourth place because of EGC KR Black getting caught out very early on in that match, getting caught swimming across the ocean and going across the bridge. Well, well done, I mean, by all these teams, to be fair.